Alright guys, how's it going? This is Akira10 here, and today I bring you one of my favorite pieces, if not my favorite piece. Especially for, you know, this character. Um, this is, in my opinion, a grail piece. You know, for Marvel fans, and especially Wolverine fans. Um, pretty sure you guys already know what it is. It is the Wolverine Comiquette. And it is just a beauty. It is great. This is number 324 out of 750. It's uh, 15 inches tall. Let's get a nice little quick review for you guys. The base. Yeah. Just a plain base. Looks good though. It's your X theme. You know. It has like little rivets on the side. And it's sculpted well. And it's painted well. It's, it's a little on the thick side, but, you know, it gives him a little height to himself. Um, the boots, very well done. Um, you know, they're, they're not as good as the PF boots, but the boots are really, really well done. Now, I know you can see that right there. That's a quake hold. It's right here on the front foot, and there you go, it's on there on the back foot. So... It's there because when I first got this piece, um, it I tried to put it together and it just wouldn't fit. Um, the pegs are off. So, you know, I called Sideshow and I guess the QC wasn't as good back then or customer service. And they're like, you know, just there's nothing we can do. We don't have any more replacements for it. Uh, go ahead and heat up the, um, the legs with a blow dryer and spread it apart until it fits on the peg. And that just blew me away. I mean, I was like, what? It's probably the most bewildering thing I've ever been told, you know? It, it was, I was, what? It was dumbfounding. But I wasn't about to heat this thing up and, you know, mess with the paint and possibly snap his legs. So I was like, forget it. I just, you know, threw, went down to my local hardware store, got some quake cold, does the trick. Um, anyways. Now let's look at the costume here. You can see the folds above his boot. I mean, the, the sculpt is spectacular. Really, 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 really nice. The muscle, you know, the seam line on the inside. Really well done. I mean, the colors, you know, you got the orange, you got yellow, you got really good shading on this piece. In my opinion, this is when Sideshow was at its best. You know, sorry for the shakiness, I'm coming around. I have that Lazy Susan that I showed you guys. I just, I don't know. I like to do the moving myself instead of just turning it. Let's get some back shot of this guy. Okay, that, that little fishing wire right there. It's the little noose that I tied around him. I put it there because I live in California, and, you know, this is Earthquake City, so I, I put a little screw up in the uh, display case, and I tie that thing around it to give it a little extra stability. Um, anyways, the back muscles, tromboids, rhomboids, lats, great. Those little folds right there in the lumbar curvature area, like close to the spine, Really nice. You see the way the costume just folds into the belt? Just, you know, wrinkles into the belt? Really nice. And the belt, you know, it's a really nice dark red. You know, and it's textured too. So it has, you know, like like a nice leather texture to it and it's filled in with black. You know, you got his underwear there. And it's, you know, it's, it's not just blue. It has a black and tons of different shading. You got the nice seam line that goes all the way down the leg. And, you know, they got the, the muscle definition on that leg, too, which I think looks really good. And it's just a really well done piece. I mean, there's even wrinkles on the bottom of the boot by his ankle. If you really look at it, I mean, the bends of the toes, they did a really, really well job. I don't know who sculpted this. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know if it was Martin, but it's... It's really well done. Yeah, the, claw the claws are really flimsy. 
which is the downside to it. You know, and I think they would have been nicer if they were a little more metallic or even, you know, chrome, but nevertheless, it doesn't take away from the piece. You know, the muscle definition is nice. You see the stereations in the pectoral area? It's really well done, you know. I, I like the way they put the, you know, the, the black around the arms to simulate the hair. The vein that goes over his bicep. It's just so well done, you know. And for the price that I got it for about five, six years ago, what was it, like a little bit over 200 bucks? You know, you, you can't beat it. You know, the, uh, the LSF, the Legendary Scale figure, is going to blow it out the water, I mean, but it's $2,000. You know, sorry for the shakiness, guys. You know, so 200 to $2,000, um, you know, this is, this is definitely a sweet piece. Um, like I said, this is when Sideshow was at their best. I mean, they're still putting out some great stuff. But but QC and you know real attention to details has gone down a little bit. Let's get the face. That intensity right there is exactly the way Wolverine should look. I mean, that is him. You know? So well done. I mean every tooth is just you know, detailed, the tongue, I mean, there's even a little uvula in there, you see? I mean, he got the white eyes, which are my favorite, it's a five o'clock shadow, I mean, this is an intense piece, you know. You know, he, he looks like he just finished jacking somebody up, and he's, a, he's just turning around, and he's ready for somebody else. All right, guys. This is my Wolverine comic cat. This is Akira 10. Give you guys a nice 360 of this bad boy. Then I'm out. You know, I try to do these reviews in the day, but it always happens just to happen at night or, you know, in the mid-evening. I don't know. Let me know, you guys. You know, do does the natural light really bring bring everything out more? Or, you know, is this okay? You know, I always plan to do it in the day, but you know how that goes. All right, guys. This is Akira 10, out.